the Sun Temple at Abu Ghraib, Memphis, Egypt. In 1898, an excavation team with the Berlin Museum discovered the base of a massive obelisk, estimated to have once stood at over 160 feet tall. According to the ancient Egyptian building texts from Edfu, Abu Ghraib was known as the place of the gods. Egyptologists know it as a place where the ancients connected with divine energies. It is said that this is the very place where pharaohs and priests experienced heightened awareness through the use of vibrations transmitted through the obelisk. While scholars believe Abu Ghraib was home to one of the largest obelisks ever constructed, similar shaped monoliths have been found in hundreds of variations all over the world. Unsuitable for shelter, storage, or a higher vantage point, could obelisks have served another, more powerful purpose? A vast number of obelisks are constructed from granite, a stone containing high concentrations of energy-responsive quartz crystal. Because of its crystalline structure, quartz has the ability to convert the Earth's natural electrical vibrations into usable energy by a property known as piezoelectricity. The piezo is for the vibrating or oscillating, and the electric is for electric. What this means is that you can use electricity to make them vibrate mechanically, and when they vibrate mechanically, they can generate electricity. Is it possible the ancient cultures that erected obelisks had some understanding of the high-tech properties of quartz? And if so, could they have used obelisks to transmit energy over vast distances? Ancient astronaut theorists believe the answer is yes, and that evidence can be found by studying the work of Nikola Tesla. In July 1899, the famed scientist claimed to have invented a way to transmit electricity through the air, wirelessly, all over the world, by harnessing the Earth's natural conductivity, or what Tesla called standing waves. Giant transmitters could send and receive limitless amounts of electricity flowing like invisible water. And one of the key components in his system was quartz crystal. Typically, when we deal with the energy of electromagnetic waves, it's in what we call a propagating form. It's like the flashlight, you turn it on, and it moves. It propagates through space and goes from one place to another. A standing wave is kind of a different phenomena because the wave just oscillates in one place up and down, and the energy goes in between two different regions back and forth. Tesla was proposing and tried to build this system of wireless power. He built the Wardenclyffe Tower on Long Island in New York. Tesla was going to then hook this tower up to a power plant, and he was going to broadcast electricity. According to him, anti-gravity airships would draw power from these towers. Ships, cars, and other power plants could also drop from this broadcast power. Was Tesla's technological breakthrough a modern scientific innovation, or could it have been a rediscovery of a lost alien technology? Some researchers believe that, like Tesla, ancient builders discovered the ability to harness and broadcast Earth's power. And the ancient equivalent to Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower may have been the Great Pyramid. The walls of this massive monument contain a high concentration of quartz crystal. And some believe the Great Pyramid, in conjunction with the obelisks, made up what may have been a global wireless energy network. The pyramids were actually geomechanical devices. In other words, they were attached to the Earth. They were tuned to vibrate with the frequencies of the Earth and they converted the energies of the Earth into electromagnetic energy. It's possible that inside of some pyramids, there might be some sort of energy, let's say some sort of, of equipment which creates waves. So I could imagine that some of the real gods, the extraterrestrials, they left some little technology inside the pyramid 
And this technology was very super modern and powerful.